Well, it's unfortunate, and I was hoping to not be in this position uh, the last day of session. Um, I was, was hopeful that we would be able to work out a compromise that really addressed the needs of every region uh, in this state, uh, but unfortunately we were unable to. Uh, the water bond was invoked as sort of the, the sort of, uh, this is the second opportunity for us to come together in a bipartisan way to do another thing that's big on water. I think it's important to note, colleagues, that we've been negotiating this water bond since 2009. After the last water bond passed, folks were not satisfied, so almost immediately we began renegotiating that again. But yet on groundwater, we we're doing it in two weeks. Colleagues, it's, it's too much, it's too fast. Now I represent a district that is being um, disproportionately impacted by the overdraft of groundwater. So I recognize and I believe that we must do something about this problem. But the question uh, that is in front of us today is, is AB 1739 the answer to that problem? And I stand here today to say no, it is not. So I believe we must do more, and I believe we can do more, but the bill before us today is not the answer. And I would just like to put this a little bit into perspective, colleagues. I represent parts of my district where they have for the last two years received a zero percent allocation of water. Zero percent. They've survived for the last several years by pumping the water from the ground. Now we know what they're doing is unsustainable. We recognize that. But when you're getting zero percent, what else are we going to do? Now if there isn't very much concern or sympathy for the farmer, then I ask that you have some concern for the farm worker. Think about all of those towns that you drive by on the I-5, Mendota, Fireball, San Joaquin, Huron, all of these small farm worker towns who, who are almost at, some are at 30, 40 percent unemployment. I have one town in my district that we believe once the numbers come out, the unemployment numbers come out, well, almost half of the town will be unemployed because of the drought. And now we're going to say that we can't pump the water out of the ground as we try to figure out how to get more surface storage water uh, to those farms. Colleagues, this bill is going to put a lot of people out of work, and those people are the individuals who pick the crops that we all enjoy uh, when we go out to our events and our dinners in our towns and here in Sacramento. Uh, so, if, colleagues, I ask, before you cast your vote today, I ask that you think about that farm worker who's going to be put out of work. I ask that you think about these individuals who can't afford to go another day without a drop of water because they're hungry for the work, they need the work, and we have families and towns in my district that are drying up. We have school districts that are close to closing because we have families that are leaving because the work isn't there. This bill only makes that problem worse. Colleagues, I respectfully ask for a no vote.